What's good everyone, my name is Ovi and welcome to a new FIFA 21 tutorial on the channel. Boys, today I'm gonna present you the best techniques to score goals, to finish one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper in FIFA 21. And before getting started, make sure to smash the like button if you wanna see another tutorial going live on the channel ASAP. As I was saying, in this video we're gonna talk about different shooting, different finishing techniques. We're gonna have the normal shot at the far post, at the near post, the driven finish near post, far post, the finesse shot, the involvement of skill moves, uh, the composure uh, when finishing, also how to dribble the goalkeeper and the awareness in attack. A lot of nice key features that will help you improve your winning ratio in the game. First on our list, is the classic the normal shot at the far post uh, it is back in fifa 21 uh, it was not that effective in fifa 20 and this year i love the fact that you've got um, diversity in attack you can finish uh, at the far and at the near post in this first example uh, here uh, and another important thing with players that have three stars weak foot, four stars weak foot, and five stars weak foot. That's very important. You can finish at the fo at the far post with the weaker foot of your player. In FIFA 20, you could not do that. In this example uh, right here, we are going to aim as you are seeing in the left bottom corner at the controller and load the shot button at around two two and a half bars. The shot will be perfect at the far post uh, in the top corner of the goal an absolute beauty 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 now i was telling you at the beginning that also the near post finish works but in order for it to work some things need to happen in the game uh, for example right here i've just dribbled past the defender and please check the position of my player it is obvious that he wants to uh, that my player will do the shot with his more dominant foot. If I would have gone with the shot at the far post, he didn't really have how to squeeze the ball in. But at the near post, if you do it again, check the left analog for the direction of the of the shot and intensity is always two two and a half from inside the penalty box. The, the, the shot is superb, the goalkeeper had absolutely zero chances of defending that shot. Now let's talk a bit about the new meta in FIFA 21. About the driven finish that was so overpowered in previous FIFA versions. Well, not necessarily in FIFA 20, in previous, uh, in previous FIFA versions. And again, you will be able to use the driven finish also at the far and also at the near post. In order to perform a driven finish, you will have to press and hold in the same time, both LB and RB on your Xbox One controller or L1 and R1 on your PlayStation controller. This will do a this combined with the shot button will perform, will perform a driven shot. From this angle right here, even though you're on your player's weaker foot, the far post finish is just unstoppable. In the left bottom corner, you can see the direction of the shot. And again, regarding power, it's always between two and three bars, depending how close you are uh, to the goal. It is an absolutely superb technique that uh, also works at the near post. You gotta be aware of the position of the goalkeeper. And in this example right here, uh, it would be counterproductive to do a shot at the far post, a driven shot at the far post, because the goalkeeper is not positioned in our advantage for a shot at the far post. He's got the near post open and why not take advantage and do a driven finish at the near post. This is why I think FIFA 21 is better than previous versions because of the variety in attack, both at finishing and at the build-up play. Moving now to finesse shots and uh, what you need to consider is that in certain situations the finesse shots will help you avoid the blocks from the defender. This is a very important thing. So please listen up carefully. Check this example right here. First of all, uh, I see that the defender 
is about to block my shot. No matter if it's power shot or finesse shot, he's covering that ground. I turn with my player. And again, I see a defender over there trying to cover the ground. If I would do a power shot, 99% of the time, the defender would get the ball. But by doing a finesse shot at the near post, I am able to give curve to the ball and squeeze it past the goalkeeper and past the defender. Very, very important. And also, if you don't know how to perform a finesse shot, you will have to press and hold R1 on your PlayStation controller and the shot button or uh, RB on your Xbox One controller and the shot button. From my experience in FIFA uh, 21 until now, uh, the classic finesse shots at the far post work only if you've got the proper angle. They still work, they're still uh, okay, but it is sometimes very very difficult to get in the right position. So this is why I did not opt for this type of finish from inside the box. Only only for the near post finishes when you need to curve the ball past the defender and past the goalkeeper. Coming up on our list is the importance of skill moves. FIFA 21 is a game that will offer the opportunity to the opponent to block a lot of shots, to block a lot of angles, to defend very well and in the moment when you let's say have uh, the center back at 1-2 meters from you, your, your opponent doesn't even need to do a tackle because if you do a shot uh, the defender will automatically try to block you and get the ball. This is why you need skill moves in order to make some space between you and the defender. One of my favorite ones of my favorites are the Elastico, the step overs, and tutorials for this skill moves can individual tutorials for this these skill moves can be found on the channel. Let's talk a bit also about composure in front of the goal. Uh, you need to know that a lot of your opponents, the good ones, will read the play, will read the direction of your shot, and will move the goalkeeper. Uh, there will be some instances when you're gonna go one-on-one -on -one with the, the goalkeeper, you're gonna think, okay, I'm going for a far post shot because far post shots are so good in FIFA 21 and I'm gonna score. And boom, surprise, opponent moves the goalkeeper and defends it. This is why I recommend a moment of thinking before the shot. Do a ball roll in order to give you time, give, give you time to think and see where does the opponent make the decision to move the goalkeeper. Very important here, be composed over there, because in tight games you will be facing these type of situations. Imagine you have 1-0 minute 85, you go alone on a counter attack, you're one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper, but somehow you cannot score because you're not composed and the goalkeeper and the opponent moves the goalkeeper and then he gets the equalizer. You don't want that to happen. Do a ball roll before! Because if you do a ball roll, you have time to see where the where will the goalkeeper move. This is how you will score in these situations. There will also be some moments when you'll find yourself very close to the goalkeeper and you will not be able to chip him because chip shots sometimes are too slow and the goalkeeper gets it. You won't be able to, it's not effective sometimes. And you won't be able to do a power shot because the, defense, the goalkeeper will get it. Do a ball roll boys, to the right or to the left of your player, to do a ball roll you only need to flick and hold the right analog on your uh, controller to the right or to the left of your player. That's how easy it is and you will be able to get past the goalkeeper and score in the empty goal. Last but not least, awareness in front of the goal. Check this example right here. When the goalkeeper goes out, when the opponent uses the goalkeeper to, to pressure me, then he moves also his defender in order to block a future shot from me. Be careful here, be aware of your surroundings and see the empty space with your teammate. Don't do a shot, do a pass, it's not very beautiful to the eye, but it's beautiful for your score, you're gonna be able for your result, you're gonna be able to score the goal, an easy goal, get in front, win against the opponent and at the end of the day 
that is what matters boys 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 this was my fifa 21 finishing uh, tutorial with a few very very important examples from in-game scenarios examples that i'm sure they will help you a lot if you've got any questions leave a comment below don't forget to drop a like and stay tuned a lot of more tutorials will be coming up on the channel asap